friends and family welcome back happy happy sunday we're gonna my family's gonna go to the laundromat soon and today's gonna be fun. a longer video short video maybe just in the middle but everything we get this video to the lord and this is for somebody to hear and thank you guys for tuning in my name is Jesus hall i'm a very informative channel and i speak the word of god and also i have very relatable topics and what the Lord says, go a little bit deeper on this because I gotta speak. And the Lord gave me this topic, and I'm gonna be obedient. And I'm gonna try my best, and I give everybody on to Him because we all make mistakes, and I'm not perfect. And I'm just gonna go with the flow, and I'm gonna have confidence. So, with that says, let's read repent the repentant prayer. And I'm gonna show you, and we're gonna follow along. It says, I am sorry for all my sins, and I repent of them all. I give you my life today, and I congress my faith in your Son, Jesus Christ, that he is Lord. I believe that Jesus died and resurrected to give me eternal life, and I confess my faith in him and I accept him as my personal Lord and Savior. Amen. 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 You guys have faith in the Lord. Trust in him this season. We all make mistakes and accept him with all your heart. He's your friend. Talk to him the way you're talking to me. And you accept him as Lord and Savior and that's your everyday lifestyle, my friends. And just be yourself and just keep moving on and just as you're developing your prayers, keep talking to him, keep praying to him, and he will help you through every season. And the Lord has given me Thessalonians in my heart to read to you guys. Um, it says farewell. And it says 16 through 18, but verse 16 says, The Lord of peace always gives you peace in every way. The Lord be with you all. 17, I'm writing this greeting with my own, that is Paul's hand. By this you are recognized every letter in this in my handwriting. 18. The love of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. I love that. Let's read it again. 18. The love of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Amen. Keep praying for your brothers and sisters. Keep forgiving thy neighbor, my friends. Keep standing on the word of God. Keep going on. I encourage you guys to read. Thessalonians, oh, 2 Thessalonians, verse 3, 16 through 18, my friends, because we just have to have confidence this season. We got to have peace this season. The Lord said, be, Peace be with you and be peace with you always. And the love of God is peace with us all. And that's so nice to say, my guys. Um, um, guys, I love you very much. My name is Susa Hall. Um, I'm going to keep saying that. My sister's birthday is tomorrow. My birthday is on June 17th. Um, my sister's getting her kids. She's about to go to the laundromat. And, um, yeah, so I'm going to be very quick at this topic. The work is done. Before I get into this right here, the Lord gave me the directions to write this down. As shame is guilt. And he just told me to write the arrows down. And I'm just, I record this like 35 times because I'm, I stumbled on my words. And just bear with me. And I'm going to get this done in one take because I have to go. And God's with me. And so shame, um, shame is guilt. And also he says emotion. And we got to trust the Lord. And he's going to help walk with us. And we got to let it go and give everything on the table to him and God is in control and he says change in his progress that comes with us and so what shame is defined as painful feeling of humiliation or distress caused by the congression of wrong or foolish behaviors and guilt is defined as feeling of having done wrong or failed in the obligation so I put down the shame with the arrows down I wrote three bullets and I like little, you know, bullets, they're called bullets. And if I put humiliation, distress caused by, and foolish behavior. 
And so, what is going, um, you know, the humiliation, you know, people laugh at us, um, humiliation, and people act a fool sometimes, and people act out of character, or people just, you know, people want to point feelings and humiliate you because you don't fit in their world or fit in their bubbles, you know, or at tables, you know, and distress is caused by that and and distress is caused by the consequences are wrong and as the latter in this conversation and distress is like when you're distressed is something you need help and you're distressed is problems my friends you know and it's caused by different things that's going on in the situation and foolish behavior oh thank you lord because i have to go a little things you know what's going on in the world we have little karens you know, meaning parents is people that want to use their privileges and say, I'm going to call the cops on you because the person's minding their own business. Like, they call them um, Peppermint Karen, um, Roadside Karen, or blah, blah, blah Karen. Karen is like a white person that wants to use her privileges and say, I'm going to call the cops on this black man and just falsify and make a fool herself and label this innocent man to get him arrested because the person's calling her out on doing something or she wants to go in there and just go in there and just ruin this person's life. The person's minding his business and she wants to come over there and, and to give her two cents. To me, that's that's beyond that is beyond foolish behavior. You know, people mock us, and so through the Black Lives Matter, my friends, um, reason why people are saying Black Lives Matters, and it, people should be proud to say Black Lives Matter. Of course, all lives matter. You know, um, the Lord told me to go a little bit deeper, and I'm proud to say Black Lives Matter, because people want African Americans to be shamed. Not all. Most people to be ashamed of the color of their skin, the color, um, the, the texture of their hair. And people are, are taking a stand and they're tired of the behavior of the cops. They're tired of the people killing black people. Um, the cops are in people who take, who want to take that responsibility of doing that. And that's sad. And the guilt of it, and guilt is a feeling of having done wrong or failed to obtain it. And like I said, God said he's changing things. God is shaking things up. He, God says Congress. He's shaking things in Congress. He's shaking things up in the police station. He's, he's changing things in the world, people's mindset. And, and he also the Lord said war. And there's a spiritual war going on, my friends. And there's war that's going on in this world. In this world. And so with, when it comes with the guilt, and guilt is defined as feeling of having done wrong or failed to obtain. And so I wrote down, um, done wrong. Cops have done wrong by killing people. Sorry. Um, and they fail to up, uh, and they fail the obligation to serve, to serve and protect. And they abuse of power. I'm not saying all, but most cops are doing that. And so you see rallies going on you see um peaceful rallies going on people are putting black my black lives matter to remind people that all lives are equal but black lives are important as well as everybody else because people fail to realize that children are being affected by this generation 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 i was sitting in the, uh, my mother's room and i was watching the news and um, I saw this on social media too where this little girl was at the park with her mother and it's sad that the child has to feel shame and guilt at the same time one feeling shame of her color and guilt to um, because the color of her, her, her skin all that goes together the motion of feeling fear the motion of seeing a cop and fearing for her life the fear of all these things and also there's peace with the Lord but the fact is a six year old child sees a cop and she puts her hands up that's not okay a child should never have to fear going with her mother going to the 
to the going with the park. I'm the the Lord is tired. And the Lord says, "My people," and then I I applaud I applaud this police officer for getting on a child's level, for getting on a child's level, or meaning that it's she's not abusing her power. She's 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 giving the child respect. And she got on her hands, and she got she got on her knees, and she got on her hands, her knees on the child's level, where she's not stabbing all the child, but so she has respected eye contact with the little girl, and said to her, and the mother took a picture. I'm talking about the, what the child's thinking, is circling in her mind. One, she's black. One, she's a child. Secondly, she's she's. In her background, what's going in the background is that if I go to this cop, I'm going to fear for my life. I'm going to put my hands up because her mother's teaching her that one is a protection. Two is that she has the growing, she's growing up black, and it's, and it's children should be in a carefree world. But um, unfortunately, we live in a world like this. Well, I know a lot of people may not understand what I'm going to say this, but. The cop got on her hands and knees and explained to her in a very loving voice. And I think the Lord allowed that cop to be there for so she was able to see in her own view that not all cops are like this. And I'm going to teach my nephew and nieces that not all cops are like this. We have to forgive our thy neighbor. We have to love thy neighbor. We're going to love the color of our skins. All lives matter and also their lives matter because I'm speaking and that black lives matter. A lot of people are saying this all black. Um, black, black lives matter. And it's good to say that and the movement of this was way before this I forgot the man, one of the um, MFLs, um, took a stand on his knee when they come to the anthem. I should know this, but I know so forgive me. Um, he's tired of it. Um, so what I'm saying is the cop explained to her, the mother took a picture, the circle on social media. Um, we got to talk about the Karens out there. Um, the Karens is where... She uses her privilege, meaning that she's um, she wants the people who people are labeling different women and different people are calling like um, bench Karen or Park Pinch Karen that they use their privilege of African Americans that they're going to call the cops and they mind people are minding their business and and they're going to go going to call the cops and be like okay this person is doing this and doing that and the person's minding their business and now they're going to get the person in pro in trouble because. You want to label them as shame and guilt. So what that says, my friends, um, let's just pray. God, the tables is turning, my friends. It's in God's hand. I know this is a lot of things to talk about, but the Lord says go deeper, and, I, and I'm going to be obedient with the Word of God and also on this formative channel. Um, I'm just drawing on this because it's a lot, it's a lot to take in, my friends, and as... The Lord is pushing me to talk on these different topics, and we got to talk about it on a spiritual level. Or the Lord was leading me to read um, Thessalonians three. It says, "Peace with be with you always. The love of God is peace with you always." But also, the Lord says, "Repent." So we got to repent of our sins, and also we're going to pray for the salvation of. The cops who have taken the life and abuse of power and forgive those people are labeled as Karen who wants to hurt someone and, and try to get them arrested for minding their business. And unfortunately, she decided to 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 abuse her her privilege into thinking that she's going to get off about it. You know, with that, people are losing their jobs. These people are talk are are talking about it and it's circling on social media. We're praying for their family that because the person wanted to not do the right thing and yeah they're not doing the right thing people are like their bosses are um you know because it's not it's not inclusive to what their what their company is about so it's like people are getting tired of it and so in in a way change is coming so you guys thank you for bearing with me um, I know that I was just talking, but it, like I said, my channel is very informative, and it does hurt me to see people not get along, but God is stronger, and those situations too hard for him, so you guys, please, um, please read Thessalonians 3, 
um, verse 16 through 18, um, with the, sh with the shame and guilt, we gotta let all our problems go to the Lord. God is, He will answer all your needs. You give all to Him, and He's gonna hold our hands. And more importantly, we're gonna say, Lord, please forgive us. Because we all have shame, we all have guilt, and we're gonna, when we repent, God takes it away. Even if it's small, a little by little, big, huge, small, whatever, God got our back. And I just want everybody to know that we all come from different backgrounds. And the Lord loves us. And I let you guys know I love everybody. All lives matter. We're all God's children. He loves us. He knows that we all come in different shades and colors and different backgrounds. And that was makes everybody different. God knows us before we was in our mother's womb. God knew you before you was in your mother's womb. God knows your name. God loves you. You're special. And I had to go a little deeper because, one, I had to be obedient to God. God. And I recorded this, like I said, 35 times. The first time, it was very sweet. But the Lord said, you got to go a little bit deeper. And I and I, I couldn't hold it back, my friends. And I was telling my mother that I feel like I had to speak a little bit. Speak in a very loud, large way. And so I know I have a small voice, but this platform is going to grow. And we give this on to God. And let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, let's take our shame off our heart, oh God. Take our shame off our family, oh God. The guilt that people want us to classify in our background. Lord, we love thy brothers and sisters, Lord. Everybody's inclusive on this channel, oh God. Lord, I believe that God is our Lord and Savior. And Lord, I accept you, my Lord and Savior. Thank you, Lord, for our family and friends. Lord, I thank you for the next step, oh God. Thank you, Lord, for the branching out, Lord. I thank you, Lord, for everything you do. Lord, I thank you, Lord, for allowing us all to do what we have to do and survive. Okay, we pray. Amen. Yes? Okay, it's time to go. We can, we, can, we can go to the toy shop. We're not going to the toy shop. We're going to the laundromat. And no. wash some clothes. Alright? See you later. I love you. Say bye. Say bye. Say bye. Okay, say bye. Say bye, YouTube. We can go. We can go. Say bye, YouTube. Bye. <laughs>